Hi, I'm Laura Delaney and I'm co-owner at Rediscovered Books in Boise, Idaho. And today I really want to read for you The Rabbit's Wedding by Garth Williams. You probably know him from his other works. He's most famous for the illustrations in Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little by E.B. White. But today I'm going to read you his story that he published in 1958, which created quite a stir in the southern United States. I think you'll understand why after I finish. Two little rabbits, a white rabbit and a black rabbit, lived in a very large forest. Every morning they hopped out of bed and out into the early morning sunshine. They loved to spend all day playing together. Let's pay hop, skip, and jump me, said the little white rabbit. Oh, let's, said the little black rabbit, and with a hop, skip, and a jump, he sailed right over the little white rabbit's back. Then, with a hop, skip, and a jump, the little white rabbit jumped right over the little black rabbit's back. After a while, the little black rabbit sat down and looked very sad. What's the matter? asked the little white rabbit. Oh, I'm just thinking, replied the little black rabbit. Then they played hide and seek among the buttercups and daisies until the little white rabbit wanted to play find the acorn. And after a while, the little black rabbit sat down and looked very sad. What's the matter? asked the little white rabbit. Oh, I'm just thinking, replied the little black rabbit. They played race around the blackberry bush until they were tired and thirsty. So they hopped down to the spring and drank from the cool, clear water. Suddenly the little black rabbit looked, sat down and looked very sad. What's the matter? asked the little white rabbit. Oh, I'm just thinking, replied the little black rabbit. Then they played jump the daisies and run through the clover. I'm hungry, said the little white rabbit. So they stopped playing and ate a large patch of dandelions. And after a while, the little black rabbit stopped eating and sat down and looked very sad. What is the matter? asked the little white rabbit. I'm just thinking, replied the little black rabbit. What are you always thinking about? asked the little white rabbit. I'm just thinking about my wish, replied the little black rabbit. What is your wish? asked the little white rabbit. I just wish I could be with you forever and ever, replied the little black rabbit. Then the little white rabbit opened her eyes very wide and thought very hard. Why don't you wish a little harder, she said. The little black rabbit opened his eyes very wide and thought very hard. I wish you were all mine, said the little black rabbit. Do you really wish that, said the little white rabbit. I really do, said the black rabbit then I will be all yours forever and always forever and always replied the little white rabbit the little white rabbit gave the little black rabbit her soft white paw then they picked dandelions and put flowers in their ears and all the other little rabbits came out to see how happy they both were. And they danced in a wedding circle all around the little black rabbit and the little white rabbit. The other animals of the forest came to watch the wedding dance. And they too danced all night in the moonlight. And so the two little rabbits were wed and lived together happily in the big forest. Eating dandelions, playing jump the daisies and run through the clover and find the acorn all day long. And the little black rabbit never looked sad again. Thank you for listening to The Rabbit's Wedding, written and illustrated by Garth Williams. Thank you.